while since the blast of a scimitar's Raden cannon has echoed around Senelaga. Now the Royal Lancers are shattering the silence. The reconnaissance regiment is set to join one of the army's two new strike brigades. The rapidly deployable and mobile forces are meant to be ready by 2025. For the Royal Lancers, it'll mean being capable of moving anywhere in the world from their Catterick base. Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Adam Foden says the lessons are just beginning. It's really uh, a great opportunity for us to, to come somewhere different. It's an expeditionary mindset from the start, so we've deployed ourselves from Catterick over to here and it's tested the whole of the regiment. And it marks the start of our, of our journey to become a strike regiment. So whilst we still have the same equipment that we have had, in terms of our mindset, the distances that we're operating over, uh, all of that is, is beginning to change and, and, and we're really feeling that for the first time here in Senelaga. The role's similar, um, but we're working now a lot more on our own, a lot further out. Uh, we've got to think a lot more about logistics and um, how we're going to get vehicles back, men back, uh, and that kind of stuff, just how we can deal with stuff by ourselves because there'll be nobody there to support us for the most part. The Royal Lancers will eventually use Ajax, the so-called Digital Age armoured fighting vehicle. But until then, they're relying on distinctly 20th century battlefield technology. I think for our young soldiers it's important to, to train and become competent in their role before they transition from this platform onto Ajax. So we, we see the opportunity in the, in the uh, training events we've got planned for the next two years. Many in the Royal Lancers have never been to Germany before. Their verdict on the Senelaga training experience is much the same. I've been in the Army quite a while now, first time in Germany. You go to Salzburg playing every year and some of it's quite... It's quite um, similar, so um, yeah, going around a different area can be challenging because you don't know the area. Does the adrenaline flow? It does, especially when you're firing. Uh, that's what we all love to do. So uh, when the targets pop up, realism comes on and the heart gets pumping. It's obviously a huge area. Um, Catrick, you kind of get to know it. You all know what Catrick looks like, you know the back area. Um, so there's not much training value after you've done it like four, five, six times. Whereas now, obviously, this is all new to us. so. You know, there's that level of getting to know new ground and you don't actually know where you are all the time. The Royal Lancers' progress towards becoming a strike regiment accelerates in April. That's when they move to Canada and the Army's most intensive warfare training on the Alberta Prairie. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.